what's up designers welcome back to the channel hope you guys are doing absolutely fine and as you saw on the thumbnail i'm going to explain you all the basic features of the pixel lab app so this video will be pixel lab beginner guide video this will be part one where i'll walk you through the default ui and tools available on it there will be multiple videos of this series and we will understand and know all the tools of the pixel lab in this series of videos if you are new to the pixel lab and want to learn graphic design that too on mobile then consider subscribing do like this video share this video with your friends who want to start graphic design on their mobile phone and without wasting any more time let's get started okay so right now we are on the pixel lab app and this is like horizontally pixel lab app and this is the first ui that you will see so pixel lab uh, is already free to download you will have you don't have to pay anything there are ads just like youtube so they are not annoying ads on this app and this is what you will see this is the ui that you will see in the first glance this is the default section of the pixel lab app if you're new here i'm considering this is like a very you know person this is like the person who is like learning the pixel lab for the first time and that is how i'm going to be you know explaining things into this there will be also timestamps in the description below or uh, on this video as well so you can skip some part if you already know that but we are going to go very professionally very step by step right now on the first glance like the first pixel lab will look like that and let's get that what are the tools that we see in the first you know page of the pixel lab once you open it so once you open it this is what you see oh okay so first bar uh, you will see some like uh, tools on the top there are options that you can use and they are pretty much like the best options like the very useful options on the top okay so these are the tops that you, that is the, these, these are the tools and uh, these are the, some basic functions right here so as you can see these like uh, like pre-made templates that you can use once you click on them like i click on this option i can like edit it i can now share it or like uh, make it as my own so once you click on that uh, text icon double tap it you will get to see this edit option where you can add your text and you can just you now use it this template right here from the first page so there are multiple uh, you know templates right here available along with that you will get to see this option like file kind of uh, thing or a find uh, icon actually and that will be uh, the option to get you to projects now these are the projects that i have saved and these are the projects are called plp files i will explain that in a bit later but this is the option will get you to the project files that you have saved for your work so i have saved a lot of projects as you can see now if you come back if you hit back from your phone you will get to see uh, you know again the same thing this is the option that will get you the get you to the projects now let's uh, move on to the bottom section right here which is like uh, which is like com kind of common if you scroll like this you will get get to see all the tools that you have the first one which is going to be the a1 so if you select text from your layers you're going to see these tools which you can now which can help you edit text so you can add shadows 3d whatever we will get get that in a bit later but uh, you can edit uh, text with this a tool with it, if you click on the diamond tool if you have selected any layer with image or a layer format you can edit uh, from this tool so there are more tools over here just because we have haven't selected any uh, image or a layer we are not getting to see these tools but yeah if you can if you want to edit image you will have to go into this diamond shape right here once you click on this option right here this is like the option which will let you edit background and colors transparency as you can see some tools right here and these are the tools that you will get to use from the you no know, background section once you click on the next one you will get to see all these options right so there are options like uh, rotate you can add vignette to your uh, no effect this is like the effect that you can add it, add uh, onto pixel lab app so if you want to add it you can do that from right here in this option also we'll get this options called saturation brightness u and saturation very important features they really do come in handy so keep in mind they are in this function right here so this is like the bottom section right here this is like the first default section that i have shown you just now and these are the bottom tools that you will get on the top let's say on the top so on the top of the options the first option let's go by like uh, the, in the sequence manner from the there are two things right so if you deselect everything uh, you will get to see the pixel lab option right here but if you select everything or anything let's say that is that could be a layer or a text file like this 
so we'll get this option called edit one so this once you click on that you can edit the text from here okay all again you will get more options like you can copy the text like this if you want to you know rotate you will get you can get to see this rotate option you can rotate it uh, you will get to see this size option this is like the size icon so you can increase the size of the text and there is some uh, bad thing happening to my text right now because of that effect so yeah you can increase the and decrease the size of the text from this option right here also you can move it around like uh, this so this is the option which will you now help you move that text in a specific way like if you want to that have to in the middle you can do that by clicking on these two buttons on the top left you can go like this if you want to have this bottom right corner then you can go bottom and right so this is this will be in the commons and there will be like very common to everything like maybe with the image or maybe a layer so yeah this is like the basic tools that you have also you can know uh, jump back forward and uh, front uh, into the front into the layers option so i'm going to explain you all this a little bit of later also so this are these are basic tools that you will get over here so let's go to the you know default section right here from here you can select this default section now once we have selected like you covered this part a little bit of thoroughly you can now edit some colors as well like from this option you'll get to see the color wheel option and you can edit any color of that thing that you have selected right now we have selected this text right here also so if you click on uh, the option delete obviously it will delete that you know text that we have in the layer so the text is gone right now we once uh, the six, second option let's say we want to have that text back again we we will click on this undo button so undo button really helps if you accidentally done something just undo this click on this and then the text will go to reset option or the last option that you have now once we once we done with that undo option we will we will get this option right here which is you know plus icon which is actually a zoom option or a tool which will let you zoom so if you are editing like tiny uh, editing with uh, things that are very small in size you can do that and have some this have you know, you know toggle this tool and you can edit that one in the zoom option or a zoom you know zoom screen option so yeah if you click on that again that will stay in zoom option and you can edit that part once you are done with that again click on that zoom option click on the numbers that of the zoom and it will come back to you know the normal position so this is zoom again click on that and it will switch up so that is zoom option that comes really handy and i have used that one into so many of my projects so zoom option is done let's move on to the grid option now grid once you click on the grid option there are going to be some grids and there in the bottom you can have some settings of the grids that you can change uh, you know add some grids select directly i've added this one right here i can rotate them i can have some multiple amount of grids that i want to have so three by three is the grid that we are having like this and if you click on this icon right here right here so you can have some snapping tool what you'll we'll do, do is like uh, your text will attract it to the line and snap on that line and it will you know align that text with that particular ruler the line so yeah that is that is really handy that really comes in handy sometimes you want to add, align text or images in the neatly nightly order so if you want to have that one click on that to grid tool and use that one once you click on that grid tool again you will go you know that grid will be gone and you will have your project okay now once the grid is done we will have this very important feature called layers now once you click on that this option will slide down or slide in, in and you will get to see your layers so whatever layers do, that you have you can have you can see them from here you can toggle them you can click on those uh, you no know, dots right here and you can like toggle them in between you can you know make changes to your layers so that is function and that is like a very common function it almost every editing have this function like uh, layers function so yeah very good a very useful function right here once you click on that again the it will slide again back and you will get to see your project so once we are done with that this is the option that we are going to be using or using a lot actually and actually i personally use this function a lot which is the plus icon so what it does is it open us some kind of uh, you know features that you can add so let's say you want to add text you can add that from here as well like uh, you can add text uh, from here as well you can edit here from from here you can copy the text from here so you will have another text there as well but if you want to add text then what you'll go is going to do is add click on this plus icon 
then you will click on text and you can add text here similarly you can click on current date and you can add the date format i don't know i don't really use this function but yeah we have it so so we have some bunch of bunch of text right here okay so once you click on that again you will get to see shapes now if you want to have shapes on your design then this is the option you will be hitting plus icon and you will add able to add shapes here or i have actually clicked on the image option but we want to have shapes so yeah shapes right here and this is the shape default section default shape right here if you want to have different shapes click on this box and you will get to see all the shapes that you have available in the pre you know uh, default manner the most common option of the uh, you know common shape that i use is like rectangular shape i can always now make changes like dragging down these dots and i can actually uh, you know have some changes onto those uh, layer option onto this la rectangular layer also you'll get more options right here in this uh, you know option there are bunch of options that you can check out so let's say i will decrease down the option decrease down the layer from here and what you're going to do so, uh, do is like you can add changes to this layer by these options so first will be the radius one if you click on this radius it will actually you know radius those uh, you know corners will be like in the round shape so if you want to have that that is like very useful feature sometimes i do really use this function and uh, yeah if you want to have rounded corners this is the function that you are going to be hitting uh, that will be in the in the options of your layers once you click on that this will be like having this will be like the thing that you will be having on your layers that you got some rounded corners and that is pretty much customizable now once you once you want to hit that back into the setting what you'll go is uh, what you're going to do is click on this diamond shape which i said earlier that it will toggle the layers and the image option so diamond shape again and here we will see this option edit now you can get to see the same settings again back again so radius is done uh, now we will get to see this opacity so obviously you can decrease down the opacity of that particular layer that you are editing right now you can obviously change colors to it add gradients like gradients are here i will explain this color tool or color wheel uh, in a detailed manner but for now the gradients can be applied on the layer from this option right here as well now stroke now stroke means the outline part so as you can see this is the stroke that we are adding onto the shape if you want to have that one you can just add it by here itself there is one more feature of the stroke that you can add but uh, you can add strokes from here as well which is good so yeah strokes here that is done once you have some kind of strokes you can decrease down the opacity of the stroke which is good right so yeah opacity of the stroke and then you can uh, i think you can change the color of the stroke as well yeah just, i was thinking right so yeah you, if you want to have some different kind of colored stroke here you go you can change the color from this option right here there are two options of the colors the first one is for the layer itself and the second one the second one is for the stroke i'm going to i'm going to go back into the black layer right here, like a black stroke right here but this is stroke right here also you'll get this options called uh, you know radius blur once you switch on that let's see what happens you are adding kind of shadows but actually you are adding a uh, blur to the stroke that you are having so yeah if you like like add this function you'll get to see you no know, uh, a blurred stroke that's what it is so yeah we'll go back again uh, you know we don't want to have any stroke on this layer just switch that back hit okay maybe i want to change the colors to black as well no i want to color it with white okay so we have ha having this feature right here you can edit that from here in the diamond shape option and that is what we are, that is what we did right now okay so once we have that one we can actually make some changes uh, to that layer from here as well so if you want to have some kind of changes right now the corners are looking weird because we haven't changed it from that here so if you want to have that layer changes here right here you can do that from here as well so this is what we are having okay right now we are having bunch of like text here uh, layer option right here as well so once we go into that uh, you know layers option from here you can see all of them uh, them are showing right here they are arranged by the way that they were added into this uh, you know design so if you want to toggle them if you want to have like like i want to have this text right in right on this point right uh, i can actually see it because 
yeah it is like white text so i will text uh, retext this i will delete this date option right here actually so yeah delete that one i want to delete that one as well that default one then i will have this text option right here what i can do is from the layers i can uh, now right now let's see i want to uh, add changes to that color so what i'm going to do is select the layer click on this option click on this color option and i can change color of that text so this is the text that we having Right now, as you can see, the text is actually going below the layer. So we don't want to have w w want to have that. I want to place that text on top of that layer. So what I'll do is I'll gonna click on this dot, uh, dotted icons right here and I drag it down and put right below. So what will happen is the text will show up on the layer option. So that's what we are seeing right here, right? This is the option that we can have and we can now edit this text, double tap on that text and you can edit it with whatever you want so right now i'm just gonna click on the amaz amazing option i will click on this option right here and uh, it will be in the app capital caps and uh, yeah i can add it right uh, this right here so we are like kind of designing things over here okay so what uh, we have done with all those things by uh, just like two left okay so so the last one will be second last one will be the image option so if you want to have any image from your gallery you will just click on that option let's let's hit back so this is the option from gallery click on that and you will be able to add things from your gallery so right now i'm going to choose something from here let's let's see what i've got i'm gonna go into my image right actually right now so yeah okay so right now i've just got uh, got this image like png image that i had in my phone so from here you can select and get to your folder add that image image or png will be right here and this is how it will look like so by that option what we did is clicked on this gallery option and added that one from my gallery so this is right now over here and we can decrease down the size we can now also do that weird stuff with this image but we don't want to do that but yeah you can do that also if you want to and uh, increase the size from this icon right here and uh, rotate it from this icon that's a weird icon right here so you can rotate it by just clicking on dragging down the uh, arrow you can pretty much rotate it and by dragging down this option right here you can pretty much control the size of that image or png right now we want to place this image right here so this image is actually covering up this option right here okay so this layers so what we did is like added that one later so what we will go is like we will un we want to add that image into background so i'm just clicking and dragging that into the background and that now is going to be in the background of that two layers that text and uh, that layer option right here so this is how we did it so right now our design looks like that we have added text we have added this layer option right here and uh, from the plus icon what we did like what we added is from the plus icon so very useful feature now we will see this option called draw right here so draw is actually you will be able to draw it once you click on draw you will get to see these options right here very basic very useful features very simple as well the first one will be undo and uh, reset button and the uh, eraser tool as well along with that you will to get to choose what you know what, what kind of color that you want to draw so let's say i've select this blue one and i want to draw this uh, uh, let's say uh, what uh, yeah like that so this is how you can screw some nice project but if you want to don't do, if you don't want to do that just click on this reset button it will go to back to reset if you add multiple layers you can add also use undo button and that is like basic feature okay now once we are done with that once we are done with the colors as well you can add different colors from this wheel so yeah plus clicking on this plus icon will get to the wheel now the pen size now you can choose the pen size let's say i've increased it now that has increased very 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 easy now smoothness once you hit that smooth smoothness to 100 percent it will add some kind of smoothness to this draw tool but i don't really see that so i don't know why there's that doesn't really work but actually and it's pretty disappointing that smoothness doesn't really work but we do work with that also reset again uh, so smoothness is not working so i'm gonna clip that on to zero we have this paint size right over here fill inside option so once you toggle that one once you create any shape and uh, if you like left it if you know i have created this shape and if i open my finger it will create and fill the whole shape so this is the function of fill inside shape 
and that is really handy like this comes really handy into adding shapes so let's say i added i want to have this shape right here like bean shape very weird shape i have added that one right here i can create that again once again and like that so this is the shape that we can create with this option called fill inside and uh, dashes line is obviously like if you want to add some dash lengths so you can add uh, da dash 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 lines over here like that you can also control the you know darkness or the thickness of the dash line like this with this pen size tool and yeah if you don't want to have that one just undo it and it will get back to what you want to neon effect again uh, again you want to try it out by yourself but neon effect is like some kind of like this you will have to choose neon colors by the way and this is how it look like so yeah definitely go check out these tools along uh, you know by yourself as well i'm just going fast right now because i'm not going just fast but i just want to it make it like you have learned the basic tools so this is what the aim of the video tutorial is so again we'll click back to undo button and we'll get back to the normal size that we want to have we have added the shape right here radius bar is also if you yeah this is also very good feature so if you want to have some kind of uh, you know brush thickness smoothness like this this feature this disabled function this crazy function right here you can add radius blur like this so this is like similar smoothness function right in the below so once you click on that 100% let's say 22% and you select color you can add some you no know, blurred thing right here so this is like very useful if you want to use that one and actually i have created artworks by this these functions only so if you know these functions you can create artworks by these uh, draw tool so very useful again i'm going to click back to undo and it back to uh, if i want to have this shape right here i just click okay and that shape will be added to my layers in the layers format this is the layer format so yeah this is the format that we have just added we will just going to place this layer option right here and if you want to ne copy this one you can just copy it from this option diamond option right here and uh, you can also copy it from this option right here as well so yeah multiple options for similar things and once you click on that uh, maybe you can add this uh, layer option from right here as well so very simple very useful uh, functions right here and i hope you are you know getting to know this functions like i'm like 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 i'm like moving on to this video okay so right now we are done with uh, the basic you know functions that we had we in this in this option right here let's move on to the next option which is save project now earlier in the start of the video i showed you how you can you know save the project uh, from you can see the project from you, know, you can see the projects that you have saved from this option right here but let's say i have i have this design and i want to save this as a project where which i can edit it whenever i want to so what i'll do is i'll do of click on this option right here and click on this save project option i'll just name it something let's say i'm going to save this one let's say i'm going to save this one uh, test click on this done option that name with uh, i'm just going to click okay it is not going to click okay right now because i'm in the horizontal one and recording as well so i'm just hit going to i'm going to click on hit back this is the text uh, that we have added uh, we actually want to add some different name like uh, test yeah that is what we wanted to add again i'm going to be hit back and i'm going to click okay and this will save that project so what uh, the project will be right here in the saves option like this so yeah very useful feature that is now saved forever for into your uh, plp files actually so that is done now you will have want to save that in the image format like want to export this one like this design right here you can edit or uh, save it into the gallery by now clicking on this option right here also you will get different options like you can save it here from png as well so if you click on uh, background transparent background from the options that i will show you can create that png or you can save it from that save this form format into png with this tool right here so click on this png option and you will save that from the png in the in the png format once you click on that uh, default section right here you can add uh, a bunch of different sections like quality export sections like you can save it in ultra quality which is great and uh, you can use it into the very important function like custom quality so right now you can choose these uh, options like this uh, you know uh, width and height and you can actually manually save this file that we are editing into whatever format you want to save it so if you have some numbers in height and a weight ratio 
then you can save put that numbers over here and you can create that or save that project into that particular number it could be high as possible so that it, the quality it will save in will be high so yeah that is very good feature click on the save uh, button you will get to see save this option and you will save that image or project into the image format right or in the png format from here if i select like image format so yeah this is image format so yeah you can save that project from by hitting just on this button right here once we are done with that we don't want to save that yet so yeah you can save that from save image or save project these are the two options right here click on the next option which is share now you will be able to get to see the same function right here because like they are two similar options i don't know why they are like similar but yeah you can share this option uh, share uh, you know this function or this image or design with friends from facebook twitter google whatever and the same option right here like yeah similar so yeah we are not going to do that same again okay now putting on going on next we have this function right here which is this option we'll click on that you will get to see some default or pre-built-in motivation quotes yeah that's what we are getting and we are getting in a bunch of them in the you know in a categorized way friendship happiness so if you click on anything you will directly add that into the text layer and this is the you know inspiration code that we have added from this function right here and you can just basically edit that or place it wherever you want to have it on your design sometimes i do really use this uh, function to add dummy text which is actually dummy which, which is actually not a dummy text because i do which is actually usable text but yeah i do add really add text from this option to have some kind of text into my design which can be used as a dummy text so yeah very good option so uh, right now uh, we can move things from the layers so what i want to suggest is if you go back to into your design or into your layers you can see these functions right here in the uh, layers options so what will go is uh, you can hide particular things like if you want to hide that image i'm going to click on this option right here and the image will be gone it won't show up in the exports as well so yeah the image will be gone and you will be able to you know uh, delete it or minor like imaginary deleted from the layers so yeah if you want to do that that will really come in handy you can select different images and see what images go first uh, go with this image and uh, you can hide the rest of the images if you have that into your layers so yeah uh, very useful feature that will really come in handy if you know that one so definitely use this hide function right here also the function that you will you, you will be using again is uh, the lock option so if you hit that on lock option it will toggle that one into different color and now the image is actually locked i cannot un accidentally or uh, intentionally select this one because that is like actually isn't locked in this function from here so a very useful function and uh, yeah you can lock things like you can lock any anything from here basically so yeah these are the basic functions uh, quotes obviously from here and there are some pre-made functions right here as well as you can see there are features like uh, you can add gallery uh, gallery images so this will be similar to this option right here very similar and uh, yeah i'm just opening my gallery just right now accidentally click that one also you get uh, you can you can go so yeah you can go into full screen mode and uh, yeah use that one you can export this so this will be similar to this option right here uh, contact or report bug so you can report them if you have any bug uh, tutorials where will which will take you to the youtube channel of the uh, of the pixel lab which is actually completely trash i don't like that one uh, remove ads uh, once you if you want to remove ads you want if you want to have a purchased version of your pixel lab you can click on this option and go and you know permit uh, get the premium version recover auto saves very important if you click on that you will get to see all your uh, edited you know edited timestamps that you had in the same day and if you click one of them you will get back to the same editing that you were doing on that point of time so yeah very useful function if you are not like haven't saved anything uh, actually if you haven't saved like not a project anything you can use this auto save function from right here and you can get back to your design again if you have lost it accidentally okay so very useful feature again open plp files if you click on that obviously you will get to see this function as i said earlier plp find function is the project function so you will open the you know projects right here as you can see click on that back again you can also add text you can add plp file projects into your design 
so you can share plp files also so you can add it from here as well from this option very useful very and very you know very useful function but i'll i won't consider this into the beginner guide also you will get to see something about pixel lab who is like studios and everything definitely read that one by yourself and about that is the option that we've triggered with exit option will will now it will give you the option to get back out of this uh, you know pixel lab so that is like exit option right here okay so right now we are done with that right now we will add some more texture to it so we will go back to background so we will able to change the background from here i will be able to change colors of the background from this color section right here so if you want to have any color uh, let's say i want to have this color maybe this color any color that you want and you can create and add those colors to this background so yeah, this is the pretty much basic design that i've created you can also create some uh, changes but we will be considering the second you know video which will be coming up right after this video or maybe sometime after this video but definitely and if you're watching this video after so long time you can watch uh, click on the link below and you can get the second part of this video where i'll be like explaining the other tools like these tools right here so yeah if you want to learn these tools in detail just like in this video definitely consider the second video that is coming right after this one and uh, yeah these are the basic tools that we will get into the basic ui i am taking a lot of time right here to explain you a little thing so yeah i hope you have like you know understand what i've just said and if you have any queries more to add anything do let me know in the comments below and now in the next option in the next video what we will do is we will edit this text right here we will add background elements to here we will add more things and we will also create this design right here that you actually route right now be able to see on the screen so yeah this will be our instagram post right here this is the image that we can now move so we will go and log that one from here and we can always save this design changes into our project so we have saved this in the project right so right now we will click on that you can projects and you can again save that one or uh, yeah you can save this changes into your projects as well so this is the basic function this is uh, the basic uh, ui that if i've just explained you everything into this basic uh, you know first default screen so yeah if you want to use these functions very clearly then definitely consider the second video as i said earlier and uh, this much that is like enough for today's video and uh, definitely uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to get that notification of the second video when i drop it and uh, yeah like this video if you if you have liked my you no know, work and definitely check out other videos that will explain you more about these tools that you have just explained and if you have learned the basic tools in the, this video then be able to that will help that will help you to learn the, all the next tools as well so definitely consider watching this video first i know that i'm saying into this last but yeah definitely watch this video and uh, if you haven't understand anything redo rewatch it again maybe you will understand that fact or that thing again and uh, i won't increase that time stamp again of this video also i want to keep it simple and short